What is up, bros? With Josh here. In today's video is a pretty dang fun one we had in the Helena, the Tier 7 US Sign Cruises. This is a ship that I absolutely love and I think is 100% a keeper. But this is not only just talking about how fun and how good this ship is. This is one that is a good break it down situation. I love making videos like this and going over kind of areas where you can maybe pick up a little piece of knowledge and get and just have better outcomes in your game by kind of taking what I did this game and put it into your play as well. So one of the main things I do in World of Warships every time I log into a game or every time I'm in a battle is I break down the team first. I've talked about this on mini games. So the main things, the first thing I'm looking for is CVs. There aren't any in this game, so we got a little bit lucky. Two, how many DDs there are. There are two of them, a Sims and a Fubuki. We have a Nakatsuki and a Farragut. And after that, it's kind of what the breakdown is. How many radar ships are there? How many other ships are there? Are there divisions? If divisions, so if a CV is going to be there, I'm going to get spotted a lot more, especially in a ship like this. So I have to be careful. Destroyers, if there's a lot of them, I'm going to get spotted a lot. If there's divisions, I know that our uh, three battleship divs, which is usually never a good sign, but battleships or divs and, you know, ships in divisions tend to stick with each other. So two albas are going to be... There's a lot of information you can get for how a game will go instantly when it comes to um, when it comes to how the map is gone, layout, and just looking at the team lineup. There's a lot of information you can get. Also, with getting this information of the cap is already being done right now. So if you look at the Sims and the Fubuki, there's only one ship that could have got there fast enough, and it's the Sims. The Fubuki just isn't fast enough. And since we didn't get spotted right here, we know he came from this direction. So most likely he's going to be chilling behind this island or somewhere in this area. So we're not going to get detected. But right now we're playing this kind of normally. This is a normal setup. The Helena and in ships like this, the Helena, Cleveland, Seattle, um, even to Dallas to a point, you kind of have to get into spots where you can use cover to your advantage and kind of work on stuff. You tend not to have a long range effective uh, damage output. A lot of your damage is gonna be within the, the shorter range. As you see, we only have a 14.6 kilometer range. And at 14.6, it's relatively hard for us to hit ships consistently because of our arc. So we're kind of looking for where the teams are all going. And as you see, we see a pretty big push towards the A cap and a pretty big push towards the C cap, but it's not enough. There's still a lot of, I mean, we see what, uh, one, two, three, four battleships as a cruiser player. This is really what we're looking for right now is looking to where all the battleships are going. Uh, because right now what they have one, two, three, four, five. So there's five so far. Um, and we're looking to see, to get some more information, but we're also seeing this blob kind of push around that corner and I'm starting to kind of think of okay there's the sims and I'm trying to look for the Atlanta where's the Atlanta I'm trying to look for the radar ships the Cleveland's over at sea cap and things are starting to line up a little bit on what I would call a pretty aggressive push uh, this is the sims that got spotted by by plane our other Akatsuki or our Akatsuki in this game is AFK they're not even in here and their other DD is over there so still a couple unaccounted for ships but Right now, this seems like a pretty good time for me to push. He's com He can't make that turn around. There's no way. He was going full speed. We saw that. But right now, if we can get into that middle cap, we can actually cap B and just destroy the Sims and take over the middle of the map as a cruiser. And that sounds like a fantastic point. So right now, we're looking at the, at the layout of the map. We got a lot of information on where all the ships were going. And we're just going to push in right now and take care of the sims, get that lead, and then take the middle calf back. Because one thing I was also looking for is if this group of ships, especially all the battleships, had pushed around this point, they wouldn't have shots on me because the island was there. Now, we have to be a little bit careful. There's a North Carolina. It's a little bit farther back. There is also a lion here. But other than that, I'm not too worried because these ships are going to be focused on these guys. And instantly, we go in, take down that ship. There's the North Carolina had a little bit of a shot on me, but not too much as you see the Massachusetts and other stuff was around the island. We made an easy push on this cap, killed that DD, took no damage, and now we're going to get this cap back. Again, still looking for a couple ships, like we don't know where the Atlanta is still, so that's something that is going to have radar we have to worry about. But now we're in a pretty good spot that we can take this cap and get into a spot where we can kind of farm. Because now the part I'm looking at is getting right into this spot right here. And then just starting to farm these guys as they push up. If I can get into here or here, I can farm all these guys that are, because they're going to continue to stay spotted. And because I know that the middle isn't going to be spotted by a uh, by a destroyer or something like that. Although, I was hoping that the Turpets, the Turpets B, and the Massachusetts would beat this guy up a little bit. 
<laughs> more. So we get into a bit of an awkward spot. About three battleships not being able to kill a broadside battleship. So um, we have to kind of turn and because the awkwardness of capping the cap. And I didn't want to push into this guy. In the end, I should have continued to push into this, which I am right now, now that we're pushing. Um, but uh, I wish he would have taken a little bit more damage because I was kind of thrown off. But the Massachusetts is going to die regardless. But one thing also to keep in mind is what is dying where so we're gonna get our first kill right there our second kill actually sims and the battleships but now we're in a perfect spot we're in a perfect spot to kind of farm again there are still a couple ships that we don't know where they are so we have to be a little bit careful but we know the dd is way on the other side of the map so that's not much to worry about um but we can just farm this is the ideal situation we have islands we're shooting blind things are staying spotted and because we pushed in mid we could have stayed at that other other spot on the top side maybe helped out sea cap a little bit but you kind of just on this map kind of give it to one one set of the caps so you kind of just let one side win and one team win the other one um one thing you really want to avoid though is is getting not being on the farthest away border pretty much with this our team should be pretty aggressive now here this was a misplay by me and this is one that cost us a little bit of life but in the end i don't think it really mattered um because i wasn't paying attention to how the north carolina um was moving so as you see the north carolina is actually pinching around this island i was hoping to kill this alba and get a better angle because i saw the ships pushing this way i completely read the situation incorrectly and this almost caused us our life um this is instantly where i go well i'm dead this sucks uh, not much i can really do but let's at least get the uh, alba kill and then maybe you can focus on the dallas um but yeah this was a complete misplay by me now we see the atlanta he's over on sea cap um so we had be a little bit ready there but i should have kind of rotated up the right play would have been for me to get the guns on my left side and then rotate north i would have been able to farm these guys without really taking any of this damage they would have continued to be spotted um so i did take that salvo eighteen thousand unneeded damage again use the location use your teammates to spot especially when it comes to this but we're just gonna do some usn ap that is, i think is very underrated when it comes to this ship we do have an inertia fuse captain on this, but man, look at these AP salvos. Kind of a GG easy. There's our fourth kill as well. Um, but uh, we are going to kind of get away from this. And I was a little worried about this, but it's all right. The Helena only needs one life, and that's, you know, we're just getting an adrenaline rush. That's all we're getting right now. We do have Halsey on this captain, so you'll see some fireworks in a bit. But um, already since a middle push, we've been able to kind of hold that B cap. They're now pushing through it. And that's able to give us a little bit of a boost when it comes to um, a little bit of boost when it comes to uh, holding down points and other cap points. It gave us a bit of, a, of an extra bit right there. Um, one thing I do uh, do, and a lot of people will see, I do sit on. We got a little lucky there. I do sit on one fire a tad more when it comes to cruisers um, than I used to. I kind of just let the one fire burn out because if I would got stuck again, if I would repair it instantly, it could have been death for me. So sitting on one fire for 10 more seconds and repairing a second fire um, tends to be a bit better when it comes to um, avoiding damage overall. Luckily, right now, we're in a great spot. The Lion South got killed, and we found a wonderful island that we can farm on. As long as nothing pushes us too aggressively, uh, we can definitely just kind of farm out and kind of make BCAP our home. Um, but right now, five ships left. We're way up, and that's because we kind of put this weird, awkward pressure on them by taking BCAP early and supporting the other side. And now, as you see, a lot of our other ships on the other side are pretty healthy. Um, and that's because we're able to rotate back already in a nine minute Kraken. Yeah, we're at 50k damage, but we did kill two EDs and farm a little bit. Um, but we just need to worry about, I mean, we don't see the Atlanta. We don't see, I mean, we basically see everything else. So they're kind of in the spot that if I can get over here and then we just kind of, we kind of get into a spot, we can farm all these guys. But I thought I was going to die right here. Um, <laughs> but one thing we switched up, we switched AP, turned the Hydra on. The Stalus and I are going to kind of hold back. And, um, but if this guy doesn't block me in one salvo, he's in the sales broadside, we can kind of dunk him. So he is shooting HE, which is fantastic. And what thing we're going to do again, underrated AP and we're going to send it back to court. So 10 K on that easy peasy. Those are six kill. And all we need to do is just get into another good spot and just start farming away. This is the strength of the Helena. It's kind of a, 
I don't know. If you dig in, it's really, really hard to move you out. That's the strength of this IGN line, or IGN line. This is the strength of this USN light cruiser line. Um, if they are so hard to move out of certain positions, if they get into those spots, because you have to go through so much damage, so much damage to actually get them to move. Um, I can just continue to use these islands, use these little the uh, arches right here. I'll stay undetected. Obviously, we have tons of ships at different angles. Um, we have a ship south keeping spots. We have DD North, who's now not AFK anymore. We have other ships that are north that are not AFK anymore. So we are in a really good spot to use and abuse the strength of this. I, I keep calling it I Chan line, uh, uh, US and light cruiser line. And this is why I just love this ship. It's so good. It's it can be so good and aggressive and. Um, I think this ship is definitely a keeper, and the light cruiser line is fantastic. Now, the Sharn Horse is pretty much one of the worst ships that could ever push us. It has twerps. It doesn't really take a lot of um, HE damage if it's up close. But we can continue to farm out a tad more damage on some stuff because 60k isn't enough. We have six kills by me. By, uh, by God. But um, these guys are pushing around, so we're in a tad of a spot. I do use propulsion mod. Um, it is something I highly recommend for these ships because you will be standing still a lot. You'll get a lot more use out of it. And if he angles in, I'm, I'm a tad nervous, but uh, we're going to just blast right away and try to do what we can. So aiming a tad high, trying to get that. Island shoes up a little bit there. Take more damage from our friendly than the Sharn Horse so far. And just aim for the upper armor belt. So there's a nice almost 9k salvo from 152a. You can see all of our AP damage right there. Uh, there's another uh, basically 17k or 7k so about 15k in, in what I don't even know a little bit of time not even not even that much nice little obliteration right there and as long as we just don't get spotted it's a GG easy so popping up playing just in case he, this guy pops radar I could potentially die um, he was shooting some blind shots earlier so uh, but the Cleveland hopefully we get a shot right here and then we're gonna see I think we get it after this salvo maybe not um, but uh, it, it's all about being able to break down your team. This is one reason. That, obviously, this is a fun game. Uh, we got seven kills so far, 80k damage, um, a lot of just good support damage, uh, and just shows how amazing the Helena is. I absolutely love this ship. But one of the things is, the only reason that I kind of got, and there is the fireworks. Hey, there's the the Halsey fireworks. Now I get the improved reload. It happens so late. I always get it so late, which is kind of a bummer. But now we basically turn into like a wooster. Um, but uh, there's so much information you can get from without even moving. just looking at your lineup and looking at your mini map you can get into spots that will make your outcome of the game um, just be just be better there's so much information you can get from and there's an eight kill game right there easy peasy uh, eight of twelve not bad with the tier seven Helena a ship that's definitely worth the care uh, a, a keeper I would say I absolutely love that tier seven ship um, I'd love to see how it would do in tier seven ranked if it would be uh, pretty highly competitive I bet you it would but there's so much to learn from this game and really it's just about taking the information that the game gives you um, from your mini map from your your breakdown screen it's a really really good habit to get in and the first thing you choose to do is hit tab and just break down what the enemy team has what you have and just look at what's happening we knew the sims was going to be in a certain spot because it's the only dd that could have got there um, we knew that the two albas were going to be together because they were in a division and we just watched where all the big bad battleships were once they reached around that corner that was at a cap we knew we could probably get aggressive on b cap and take that that DD completely had a misplay where he went all by himself and continued aggressively up north. If he would have stayed south of that cap, we would have had a bit more of a problem because I would have had to chase him and have a tough time detecting him. But since he overextended, and we saw that from the from when we spotted our plane, we knew we could push that and get aggressive and can start controlling that middle. The whole thing about World of Warships is getting those is, is positioning. It's location, location, location. I was able to go to the A side and get uh, and get some good crossfire, burn down some more damage. We killed the Massachusetts, killed the Alba. I ended up making the tad of a misplay on the Mass in the uh, I think it was Alabama, but um, we were able to finish it off, finish the Dallas off, and then rotate and then have enough life because I was basically a giant distraction for a couple of them for a bit and then just finish off the rest of the game. It's all about location. There's so much information that I feel like a lot of people don't use. And I kind of hope this video shows off what 
outcomes you can have if you just take what the game gives you and kind of use it to your advantage. But anyways, guys, a fun overall game. Obviously, the conditions were perfect a bit. We had no CVs, only two DDs, and one of them had a pretty big misplay. Obviously, a lot of people tend to not go B cap, but it's just there for the taking a lot of times. I see that a lot right now. Is there's a lot of lemming trains going to A or C caps and leaving B completely wide open. So sometimes all you got to do, moral of the story, grow some balls, get B cap, and win some games. But anyways, guys, a really fun game in the Helena. I love the ship run the Cleveland now, and uh, uh, I will be missing it. We had to sell it because we need the credits on that account. But overall, a really fun game, and I think a good teaching opportunity here. Um, I like making these kind of videos. But anyways, guys, let me know in the comments below what you guys think of the Helena. Do you love this ship as much as I do? Also, let me know if you kind of use a good breakdown at the start of games like I do. So much information. But anyways, guys, that's it for me. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. Remember to like and subscribe, and I'll see you guys next time.